Hi, this is a video on how to put a LR3 together. A lot of people buy them as kits, and they can be a little complex to put together. All the materials are there, but there's a lot of labor involved. So we're going to show you how to build a, a wooden frame for the LR3. The one we're going to be doing is the string frame. It's similar to the others, except it has screw eyes all the way around the interior, and then string is woven in. As you can see, it has a hanger bolt on this side with the check nut, and two hanger bolts on this side. This hanger bolt is two inches long. These two hanger bolts are one and three quarters. They have a nylon lock nut on their side. On this side, it's just a hanger bolt. The frame backing is, is wood. It comes uh, with, the, with the kit, and it's going to need sanding and finishing also. It's pre-drilled for these, for these screws, so it just sort of slaps together. It's just a lot of sanding that's involved. Okay, okay these are the tools you're going to need to accomplish this task. We need a power sander, orbital sander. We use uh, 120 grit sandpaper. Electric drill. It has a, a bit that comes with a little, little room. Also we use these sponges. These sponge sanders are really good for sanding out the, the round areas. Uh, black sander. And a little dowel rod sander for, for getting the really tight areas. You got this? That's about all you need to put the frame together. Here's the wood that comes for the string panel. That's the one we're going to be doing. It has internal holes here, and the two short sides have holes for the hanger bolts. The hanger bolt holes are always on the outside of the frame. The cover is, is wood. It has to be sanded and finished, but it's pre-drilled with the holes. We made a little setup on the work table so we can put the frame together. It's just a board that's been clamped down to the table. There's two of these black frame screws that go into every corner. I think if you just line it up like that, The bit for the fastener comes with the clone kit. I screwed the screws in so they're just beneath the top level of the wood because we're going to be sanding there and I don't want to sand the screws. Do it to all four corners, same way, and then we're ready for the next step. Okay, I screwed the frame together. Now I want to round the corners off. I do that with the sanding block. Just real fast and easy. Okay, once the corners are rounded, it's ready for the router. Okay, our next step is to use the router to route to round out all the all the sharp edges on the frame. It's uh, just a standard round round over bit with a with a bearing on top that rides on the inside of the frame.